Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Pigs Creek Super Speedway. This time for the NRSL Digital Storm Cup Series All-Star Showdown. 38 drivers will take to the track here in this 12-lap sprint. The top 10 finishers will advance to the All-Star Race, and we will have 29 total drivers in this year's All-Star event. I'm joined by Vince Freeze as we get ready to see what would be described as the regular season cutoff, but condensed in 12-lap fashion. I have no idea what to expect. After what can only be described as chaotic, controlled, uncontrolled at time chaos at Pigs Creek last week, can we somehow make it clear this week with a 12-lap sprint, a truck regular on pole? More and more to come on this pre-race career. Back to you. And just think last year when we had the All-Star event at Coca-Cola Super Speedway, Lelon Fief won the All-Star Showdown as a Jerky Pro Truck Series driver. We'll see if that can be done again today. However, this year around only five Jerky Pro drivers in the field instead of ten. Gatlin Downey is one of them. He's on the pole with Carabel to his outside. Levi McIntyre and Stephen Cologne in row two. Adam Flickinger, Logan Williams, row three. Amanda Evans and another Jerky Pro driver, Jonathan Wong in row four with Colt Hudson and Sack Flickinger in row five. Going through the rest of the grid, you'll see Max Anderson in the Stuart Haas 10, uh, Audra Baranowskis in the Ganassi 42, and Yael Carrillo in the Kyle Busch Motorsports 96. That's Vince. We'll go over a couple of showdown notables in uh, past races. Yep, we got a couple of showdown notables I'm about to go over here. And uh, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Past showdown winners and advances. We have Kev Shear. He won. Jessica Shallon, third all-star. Nate Rodgers made his second. Logan York made his third. And we'll talk about the all-star winners and tracks. You want to do that during the yeah, next race, right? That was where they finished in their respective showdowns. Oh, okay. So Kev Shear won the 2018 showdown to advance. He is in the all-star this year with a win at Puka Kohe. Jessica Shelton finished second in the 2019 showdown. She is locked into the All-Star after making the playoffs this year. And last year, you had Nate Rogers finish second and Logan York finish third. Nate is in the All-Star race automatically with his win at Puka Kohe, while Logan York is in the showdown once again. That was how I was trying to phrase that to you, but that got lost in communication. No big deal. All good. Uh, 12 laps. All you got to do is be top 10. Uh, you know, lap traffic could come into play, who knows, but just a short 12-lap race uh, set to the 1X package, so we should not see pit stops. Let's go trackside for the command to fire engines. Drivers, start your engines! For those of you who aren't aware of how the showdown works, basically the drivers you see before you, aside from the five Jerky Pro Truck Series drivers, are drivers who didn't win any races this season preceding the All-Star and didn't win any races last year following the All-Star in the ten races that followed the All-Star pretty much every year. On top of those drivers are non-All-Star race winners and non-playoff drivers. So, for example, you've got Levi McIntyre there in third, who has won a race before. Amanda Evans has won two races in her career before. Zach Flickinger has won races. In fact, Zach Flickinger has won at a super speedway before in the form of Talladega. Logan York, of course, a Jerky Pro Truck Series champion. Priya McShane has won a race in her career. We know about Ellison's success in Jerky Pro. Keith Rich, the 2020 Jerky Pro champion. Ace Rogers has a career win. Cole Deaver has won several times, but he's on a winless streak. Quentin Moore won a race last year. He went winless this year as we are green flag racing. As you see, Audra Baranowskis in the 42, your current Jerky Pro Truck Series points leader. Speed here down the back. 
And I think the key here in this race, Zach, is really just positioning. It's only a 12-lap race. I'm just going to see how we see uh, how we see things in the draft and feel it out in the beginning. But Gatlin Downey is trying to make a statement. I, I don't know how this works if you win the All-Star event, if you make it to the main show and win, if there's a ratings boost or not. We'll talk about that, I'm sure, when we get to the main event. But there is something on the line today, for sure. Gatlin Downey showing the same kind of speed Sam Young showed in the regular season cutoff race and just not even being challenged here on the first lap as they're already five wide with Anderson, Bouchard, and Zach Flickinger. And this is where things get tight when you go six wide. I think that's almost seven wide. Seven wide we're pushing. I mean, that might be seven wide. And now, this is what six this wide. Where it funnels off. Back to five wide for now. It's just Downey and Levi McIntyre at the front of the field. Oh, that's not going to work out. Yep, there no, they go. McShane got turned. Oh, it's a smoke screen. Oh, that's Bouchard's on his side. Oh, wow. Most of them made it through this. McShane's got damage, but she straightened it out. Look at, look at Lane Sanders on the bottom. He's got a huge run. Believe we are racing back to caution. We are indeed, and Levi McIntyre took the lead. Oh, but Downey just edged them out for it at the line for the yellow. Yeah, Ellison is third. Amanda Evans fourth, Anderson in sixth, Onjak fifth, Adam Flickinger seventh, Ace Rogers eighth, Yepes ninth, and Foster Henderson. That is the top ten. Here under the first caution flag, you see Carrillo with a decent amount of damage. Nobody on pit road. There's Bouchard. And everybody is still running on the racetrack, Vince. I uh, did not actually expect that. Well, you know what it is? It funnels down that turn, and sometimes super speedway where actually you're all close together. You just have that effect of the damage effect in a way where just you get a slight type of damage, and you'll be okay. Now the question is, with this pace lap being short, we're going to restart probably lap five or six. What do you do if you're, uh, obviously it's a one x but what do you do if you're the guys who got damped, right? We've seen people stay out sometimes and cause something. Let's hope they just pit, because that could affect the leaders down the road. Well, with not really having to worry about the fuel game today, let's take a look at the replay. Taking a look at our first caution here in the All-Star Showdown. Looks like McShane's just going to get pinched by York and Bouchard, who was coming up the middle. Contact's going to occur right after they pass the creek. Right there, McShane's going to get hooked into Carrillo. And you see Keith Rich getting a piece. That spun all of these guys sideways like this. And Bouchard went right to the right into the wall. Jonathan Wong had nowhere to go. Keith Rich straightened it out. McShane straightened it out. And then Carrillo. Carrillo and Bouchard had it out of harm's way, so nobody really got involved in this one, Vince. Yeah, it's just one of those things. Like I said, they just pile up in a super speedway wreck with this, the speed and the force all combined together. You don't get much damage, but it looks like Carrillo's just going to spin harmlessly here and get her straight. All right, well, let's take you guys to the race restart. Getting ready to go back racing. Nobody came down pit road to fix damage, so it'll be interesting to see who is up to speed and who is not. Uh, we believe the 41 of Priya McShane, the 13 of Bouchard, and the 96 of Carrillo all have significant side damage. And from what we remember seeing in the regular season cutoff, it's just a little bit of damage killed your speed because... They're going 270 miles an hour and just a little bit of damage. You know, you slow yourself down five miles an hour and you're already out of the picture. Yeah, it can cause a big pack, a big pack effect, right? We saw, I think it was Derek Hamill get wrecked out, if I'm not mistaken, in the race last week with a lap car. So we'll see what happens with Gatlin Downey. Controlling his second restart in the main field right here. I mean, I know it's not the, the top of the top of the line, but you got to be impressed with Downey and Anderson so far holding that truck for it. Gatlin Downey ran back in the Digital Storm Cup Series in 2018, and he finished last in the point standings in what could only be described as one of the worst seasons in recent memory. 
Um, nobody has had a season that bad since, but Downey has done amazing things in Jerky Pro this year, so he has definitely learned throughout his experience in both Cup and Trucks, and right now he's showing that leading the field here in the All-Star Showdown. Top 10 cutoff is what we're going to be watching these next eight laps. And I'm sure we're going to get dicey for 10th place. Yeah, I don't think Foster Henderson is going to retain that. Another truck driver coming to the field here. How about Audra Baranowska? She's made quick work to get inside the top 15. Running right behind teammate Diego Yepes. Teammate just for this race. Surprised Cole Deaver hasn't won Zach, and I think this is probably I mean, him and Quinton. I think are the two shocks in this race because they've. I mean, Quinton's been strong all season, even though he didn't make the playoffs. And Cole, we know he's got talent. Well, just think too. Last year we went into the All Star Weekend with Nate Rogers and Nico Tringali being two of the most consistent drivers to not win a race. Nate finished second in the showdown, and then Tringali went on to win the All Star race. So we could see another driver who hasn't won this year, but is very experienced, get that all-star race win. And just want to state really quickly that the drivers who advance through the showdown will start 20th to 29th. As Downey is just continuing to hold on to the lead, man. It's crazy. Look at the run on Jack's got. Well, I meant, I think we talked about before we came on air is that he had a three-tenth gap qualifying. I don't know what the setup is or how he's getting these massive runs or whatever, just in clean air, but it's working, whatever they're doing, the RCR games. Ellison up the middle for a while on Anderson. Can... Ellison trying to claw his way towards the front. See, Downey only running 268, so I don't know if he's got more straight line speed or if they're just fighting so hard for second place here that it's preventing them from getting big runs. You see, not really getting huge runs, just a, just minor runs, but mostly two and wide, three wide at the front of the field. No crazy five wide just yet. Could be the old bubble effect. It could be trimmed out a little bit more down those straights, but we'll see. Now, what does the pack do? We also know. Now, remember, Zach, this isn't the All Star race, too. We have a little bit less experience in this race compared to the All Star event, and sometimes it's hard to generate runs. But now we got Amanda Evans, who's a three time plate winner. Two time plate winner. Or two time, looking to be a three time plate winner. Even though this race, I guess, would technically count. Well, not to the win total, but it's yeah, just, just an exhibition. Fun. They have single file, one, two, three, four, Ellison third, Adam Flickinger fourth, Onjak and McIntyre are side by side for fifth, as it's really dicey back here for the tenth place cutoff. Yeah, I think it's the keys to cutoff because uh just looking around here in the field, I don't know if they're gonna make a move up front for a minute. I mean maybe that's another thing too is strategy, just don't make a move up front. Let's play this out, top four or five single file and move on to the show and work together in our next race. Got some slow cars, though. Seeing the cars that were damaged in that accident, Logan York, Keith Rich, Jonathan Wong, Priya McShane, Ayel Carrillo, and Daniel oh, no. Bouchard. We might just have lap traffic shenanigans. I think Bouchard's 40 seconds behind, man. <laughs> Let's check the pace difference. Bouchard is 12 seconds off the pace. He's only going 223 miles an hour, so I definitely think they're going to catch him here in about a lap or two. Things are going to get scary when they do. They're three wide for third. That's Carabelle on the inside driving the card that won the All-Star race last year when Nico Tringali was behind the wheel. So Bell trying to get the 84 back into the All-Star event. She's been one of the better new drivers in the series. If you look at the point standings, Matthew Rodriguez came into the All-Star weekend 30th. Of course, nobody's getting points from these races, but... Uh, Matthew Rodriguez, 30th in the points. Osmain Hamid, 34th. And Carabelle, 35th. <clears throat> so, those three drivers, the top three fresh faces between the, uh, or in the Digital Storm Cup Series. As Sam Young, James Ellison, and RJ Bishop, rookies that are above them in the points, have prior Jerky Pro Truck Series experience. 
you know, looking throughout the packs. So I think it's really a, a place if you don't want to be the leader now. If you think about it, we've seen the leader last race in the cutoff just get wrecked. And with that speed difference, I, I, maybe Peter Onjek has this played right. I don't know. It's, it should be uh, it should be interesting. It could affect the cutoff, too, if Downey gets held up bad. So he's been dominant this entire race. Yeah, truly unprecedented to see Downey just completely hooked up. But nobody has been able to get a run on him for the race lead. I think McIntyre did it once. Oh, no. Bouchard's there in the way. A lot of people going to get by. Oh, and Amanda Evans is going to be one of the main drivers held up from this. Carabelle as well. Coming the two to go, it was bound to happen. And that gave the lead to Christian Vargas. Wow. We said we talked about this now. We have any more is we have any more lap? Ooh, Downey might not make the race. Are you kidding me? Where did the thirty one go? I did not think he had checked up that much, Vince. He didn't, but I guess he did because everyone had a good run. Now he's got the car and it depends how many people are in this pack, but if he's on the outside, he may not make this race. Or is, Vargas, he just doesn't have the car out front, though. That's the thing. And just look at how much of a difference the draft makes compared to... I mean, they're, they're not even up to speed. All of them checked up to some capacity. Oh, so this is going to get really interesting. How about Sam Young up here at the front? Coming to the white flag in the All-Star Showdown. Top 10 advance. I did more. Five wide move almost. What a move. We have a total of... Do, 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 13 cars in this pack. Quentin Moore all the way on the bottom. Gatlin Downey's all the way at the back. If he can just hook it to the inside, he might be able to make something work here. I think Brock's going to make a move on his teammate, Justice. There's Downey with a big run on the outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Edwin Justice is tenth right now. How about the last corner? Who's it going to be? Going for the lead. Going for the win. It's going to be Colt Hudson winning the All-Star Showdown. And Downey will get in in ninth. Oh, ten. I'll make it tenth, actually. Justin. Justin by a nose over Edwin Justice. And your 10 drivers advancing to the All-Star Race will be Colt Hudson, Sam Young, Laura Chung, R.J. Bishop, Peter Onjak, Christian Vargas, Levi McIntyre, Quinton Moore, Derek Hamill, and Gatlin Downey. Tough break for Amanda Evans, who got held up there. She comes home 17th. Same for Ellison, 20th. Carabelle, 22nd. We saw at the front at the end of that one. And man, one more lap, Vince, and they would have caught Yael Carrillo. It's not great for Yael, just looking for experience, really. Well, that'll do it here in the All-Star Showdown. We'll see you guys for the All-Star Race.